Hello and welcome to the public meeting for US 80 from FM 460 to SPUR 557 and SPUR 557 from US 80 to I-20. We appreciate your interest in this project and thank you for your participation. Please note, you can pause this presentation at any point to allow more time to review the information. This public meeting has been convened by TxDOT and is being held to receive and consider comments from the public regarding studies and evaluations of US 80 and SPUR 557. You may have attended previous public meetings conducted by TxDOT. However, for the benefit of those who have never attended one, we will explain why and how the department conducts a public meeting. A public meeting has four essential purposes. To inform the public of the status of planning efforts on the project and to present the recommendations based on technical analysis performed to date. To describe the project to the public, including known potential project impacts to the human and natural environment. To provide the public an opportunity to view information and express their ideas and concerns at this stage in the planning process, when there is still flexibility to respond to comments and location and design decisions have not been finalized. And finally, to develop a record of public views and participation to accompany recommendations for subsequent decisions. This public meeting is being held in compliance with both federal and state laws. Documentation of this meeting will be made available for the official record. The design schematic and other project information for US 80 and SPUR 557 may be viewed at www dot keep it moving dallas dot com slash us 80 dash spur 557 the information on this website is the same information being shown in this presentation the us 80 project limits are from fm 460 or clements drive east to spur 557 along spur 557 the project limits extend from us 80 to i-20 the total project length is approximately 12.1 miles and is located in Kaufman County, Texas. The project is located within the cities of Forney and Terrell. This public meeting will cover current TxDOT efforts regarding proposed improvements to US 80 and SPUR 557. These improvements would reconstruct both routes and include widening from four lanes to six lane main lanes and two to three lane one way continuous frontage roads ramping and intersection improvements, bridge replacements, and constructing shared use paths and sidewalks. The project's purpose is to improve safety and mobility. The proposed project is needed to improve safety and meet future travel demands from projected population growth and traffic volumes. From FM 460 to SPUR 557, the existing US 80 typical section is a four-lane divided highway divided by a grassy median. Frontage roads are one-way continuous, one to two-lane frontage roads in each direction. Existing right-of-way varies from a typical 300-foot width up to 400 feet along US 80, and there are no bicycle or pedestrian accommodations. The proposed typical section for US 80 will be a six-lane divided highway with a concrete barrier along the center line. One-way continuous two to three lane frontage roads with ramping improvements, shared use paths, and sidewalks would be constructed. Proposed typical right-of-way width varies from 300 to 430 feet. From US 80 to I-20, the existing SPUR 557 typical section is also a four-lane divided highway divided by a grassy median. However, its frontage roads are discontinuous and two-way in some instances. Existing right-of-way varies from a typical 360-foot width up to 400 feet along SPUR 557. There are typically not continuous existing sidewalks or shared use paths. Proposed typical right-of-way width varies from 380 feet where right-of-way is not being acquired to 500 feet where right-of-way is being acquired near Las Lomas Boulevard. The proposed typical section for SPUR 557 would be a six-lane divided highway with a concrete barrier along the center line. One-way continuous 
two-lane frontage roads with ramping improvements, shared use paths, and sidewalks would be constructed. Approximately 56 acres of new right-of-way would be required for the proposed project. Potential displacements include two residences, one business, and two non-residential structures, which are billboards. All right-of-way acquisition would be completed in accordance with the Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970 as amended. The proposed project is anticipated to be ready to let by 2026. Letting is when TxDOT notifies the construction community that a project is ready to be bid on. Construction on a project begins after the letting process is complete. The estimated project cost is $850 million. No funding has been identified and the costs are subject to change. The project cannot be let until funding is identified. This concludes the project information and design portion of the presentation. The next few slides will provide an overview of the environmental evaluation for the proposed US-80 and SPUR 557 project. Prior to December 16, 2014, the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, reviewed and approved documents prepared under the National Environmental Policy Act, known as NEPA. However, on December 16, 2014, the Texas Department of Transportation assumed responsibility from FHWA through a memorandum of understanding to review and approve certain assigned NEPA environmental documents. This memorandum of understanding between TxDOT and FHWA was updated on December 9, 2019. The review and approval process applies to this project. Environmental studies will begin later this year to support an environmental clearance in accordance with NEPA. These environmental analyses are necessary to identify, avoid, minimize, and mitigate impacts to the human and natural environment. Notices for this public meeting were advertised in the Dallas Morning News, Terrell Tribune, 40 Messenger, and Aldea, as well as on www.keepitmovingdallas.com under public hearings and meetings. The TxDOT Public Information Office also prepared a news media release to advertise the public meeting. The TxDOT roadway design schematics are available on the project website at www.keepitmovingdallas.com slash US80-SPUR557. The study's environmental constraints map is used to help planners and engineers determine the least impactful method to fulfill the purpose of the project. Some environmental constraints along the corridor include residential structures, businesses, medical centers, industrial centers, fire stations, police stations, streams, schools, cemeteries, floodplains, wetlands, historical markers, and more. Environmental studies will begin later this year. This map can be viewed at full size on the project website. A detailed timeline is shown on the screen and can also be viewed on the project website. Following this public meeting, the project design will be refined per public input. After further schematic design development and environmental studies, a public hearing is anticipated to be held in spring 2023 before final design and adjustments. The project is anticipated to be ready to let in 2026, contingent on funding. Following this public meeting, the study team will proceed with the preparation of the schematic design and environmental documentation. Your comments will be addressed in this document and will be given full consideration in the preparation of the final recommendations and design for US-80 and SPUR-557. Comments will be accepted in several ways as listed on the screen. Comments must be received or postmarked within 15 days of the meeting date, which is Friday, August 12th, 2022, to be part of the official virtual public meeting record. We sincerely appreciate your participation and interest concerning US-80 and SPUR 557. Your questions, comments, and concerns will receive careful consideration. Thank you. This concludes the presentation.